everyone, this is Shafiq from Knowledge Byte YouTube channel. Yesterday we saw the first episode of Microsoft Excel Basics. So we are going to continue a series of episodes on this. Uh, today we are going to learn something interesting in Microsoft Excel. What is more interesting now when you are working? It's about shortcut keys. Yeah. When you are working on something, especially any office software, be it Microsoft Word, Excel or PowerPoint, if you can able to play with keyboard by using shortcut keys, it will make your work much more easier and faster as well. Because most of the time, uh, doing something with the help of mouse and touchpad will make you much more difficult and make your job uh, somewhat uh, delayed. In order to make you more quicker, if you are much more aware of shortcut keys, you can make much, uh, make your work much more faster and quicker. So let's learn some basic shortcut keys which you can use and you can play with Microsoft Excel. So here I have already made you one format like a table where I have prepared something like a mark list. Okay. So it's very easy for you to make uh, some format like this. You just have to type in different cells. Now, for example, I have typed uh, four different names. I have entered their marks as well. Suppose I forgot to enter one student's name over here, maybe in uh, A7. In this row, I forgot to enter seventh row, forgot to enter one name and one detail. I missed out. Now, I want to shift those data which is present in the seventh row below. And I want to add one more student's name in the seventh row as well as his marks okay now there are two ways one is by using uh, with the help of mouse also you can do just what you have to do is you have to right click in that particular cell and you have to go to insert option and there is an option called entire row so when you select that option and click ok a new row will be created this is the most a common used option which everybody used to do but it it takes some time because you have to right click have to select this option again you have to select another option so it makes your work a little bit delay what if you know the shortcut keys to create a row it will help you to just do it in a single second what you can just do is if you want to create a row here new row you just uh, bring the cursor there and you have to press control shift and is equal to button when you press control shift and is equal to button automatically it will take you to options where you can do all these things you can either create row or you can either create column or if you want to shift the cell down you can use that as well for example if i select entire row a new row will be created the same shortcut key you can use to create columns as well what you can just do is where you want to create columns suppose if you missed to enter the marks of social and directly you have entered total here now i want to uh, create a new column and enter the social marks means i have to select here where i want to create that column and press ctrl shift and is equal to button and again what you have to select you have to select entire column and when you press ok a new column will be created and there you can type whatever you want so this is one of the basic shortcut keys uh, to create row and column okay now you have entered all these marks and everything now oh, we need to add a total we already know the basic way to calculate or to make a total is by using which formula sum formula so to use sum formula you just have to type is equal to sum bracket open and you should give the cell reference from where it starts it starts from b column and fifth row so you should type b5 then you should uh, press colon because colon means you can select multiple cells you don't have to type all the cell references again and again like c5 d5 e5 and all no need to type now the ending value where it ends it ends at f7 sorry f5 so what you have to type f5 and you just have to close the bracket so this is manual method of doing total so this is what most people do 
there is a shortcut key as well if you want to do totaling what you just have to do is you should press alt is equal to button so remember what you had to do you had to press just alt is equal to button automatically it will select whatever the values which is present before those cell and it will show you the formula even if you want to change any cell reference you can again change it like this and you can press enter you will get the answer very simple right so which shortcut key you should use alt is equal to now i have already typed a formula i don't have to type the same formula again and again below what i can do is for example here whatever the names and uh, typing okay whatever the marks i'm entering okay so here again i want to do totally means i just have to click on the cell where i have already typed the formula and i should select by pressing shift and down arrow shift and down arrow helps you to select the number of cells and wherever you want to fill the formula for that what you have to just do to fill the formula you just have to type control d button so when you press control d automatically the formula will appear and according to the cell values which is given here based on that it will show you the answer so you can select as many cells as you can and you can fill the formula so what is the shortcut key for that control d now this control d can also be used if you want to fill the constant values for example i am typing 20 here the same 23 i want to appear in some 5 to 6 cell mean i can select it i can press control d so what is happening the same values is repeating in the selected cells as well now not only for down if you are if you want to fill this value on the right hand side also you can select by pressing shift and right arrow key and you have to press now control r button so when you press control r button what it will do it will uh, fill the selected cells with the same values so this is about filling the cells with the same values okay now suppose i want to erase any one row means there is one normal method which we used to do by just right click and go to delete option and you should select entire row if you want to delete a row or entire column if you want to delete a column so entire row when you select will delete you entire row the same thing can be done with the help of shortcut key as well so like to create a row we used control plus shortcut key we can use control minus control minus will automatically take you to the option of deleting so if you want to delete entire row you can select entire row option and click ok so the whole row will be deleted so what is the shortcut key control minus now i hope you guys would have understood up to this if you want to create a new sheet we are creating a lot of sheets right so we can create as many sheets as we can if you want to switch between one sheet to another sheet you can directly use mouse cursor as well and when you click on these uh, sheet buttons so it will take you to other sheet there is a shortcut key as well if you want to change from one sheet to another sheet what you have to just do is you should press control page down control page down button or control page up when you press control page down it will take you to the next sheet it will move forward to the other sheet so if you press control page up button it will take you to back backward sheet so with this you can switch the sheets easily it helps you to do uh, multiple tasks easier i mean if one data is typed in this sheet and immediately if you want to switch to another sheet i can simply use this shortcut key and within a second i can move from one sheet to another sheet so there are these are all some basic uh, shortcut keys common shortcut keys which we can use to switch between sheets to insert a row insert a column or to delete a row or delete a column okay 
so this is most of the things most of the people they don't use okay so this will be very helpful for you when you are working in a spreadsheet so these are all few shortcut keys which i hope you can use it while you are working it will help you to make your work much more easier so that's all for today so we'll see you in the next class bye bye Thank you.